Hey, good evening, guys. It's Simon, uh, coach with Train and Perform Coaching, and wanted to go over today's day. What an awesome day! Up almost two percent uh, in the uh, Dow Jones Industrial, one and three quarters, I think, was the final tally. Let's start looking at the day from how we came at came at it from the live market preview, which is in the video right below this video. We had a couple of key concepts coming to the day that really kind of formatted and shaped our day and the way we were approaching the market. The first thing that you'll notice, this is the, I have not altered this chart at all. First of all, uptrend line starting from the swing low just after October 28th. And you'll see this trend line has not even been challenged. We haven't come close to swinging down. In my eyes, buyers are absolutely in control. I noted that from the gap, right, from this last gap, we've been unable to retrace any more than 50%, forget from the larger picture, from the smaller picture, which to me screams buyers in overall control, look for long opportunities, uh, and be quick and nimble on your shorts. Okay, that's about all that's up to. Again, you'll see me go into great detail on that in the uh, live market preview, which I do for my members every day. And uh, you'll see that posted in the video right below here, so you can kind of see get a before and after, which eliminates a lot of the bullshit that goes on where people said, see, I told you, or any one of the other things. So. Knowing that we had buyers in control, the next, the other things that we have to address is what type of price action do we have? Is the environment tradable? And um, and where do we want to find our discipline and where do we want to find our entries? So I said this morning, I wanted 1990.75. That's the long location that I wanted. Okay, I wanted to be able to trade for the long side. I thought we had a good chance at shooting for this 207.50. Um, I really didn't think we were going to hit 20, um, 2020, but uh, I did have it as a support resistance zone uh, up above. And if you'll notice, uh, every night when I po post these zones for, for the members, I post the absolute strongest zones with an S, right? And so you'll see today, the, the first thing we want to ask is, well, how did the zones work? So let's go answer the question. It's a good question. Why don't we answer it? So first of all, First touch into the 1999.75 to 2001.75. Obviously, um, it get it does get hung up here for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes. Um, that makes it really hard to hold on to the trade, but you had a pretty simple solution here. You could have simply put your stop one point above the swing high, and you had the opportunity to capture a nice, big, fat 10-point uh, rotation down from the 1999 level into the 1989 level. Secondly, um, I did want I did want to get long 1990 um, 1990.75 just missed it out of the gate right we missed this zone by one tick however a little bit later in the afternoon we got that push into the zone back here now I gotta tell you this is always a little fishy right where the market is really flashing balance at this point there's a couple of key areas first of all we do not have a 50 60 retrace from the prior day's close we have not achieve that here, at least not yet, right, throughout the day, signifying the buyers are in overall control. Rotation size are small and muted. For the most part, we stayed in balance for the entire first hour and a half of the day. By imbalance, I mean every time we bumped up to a new high, pushed back in the middle. Every time we attempted to bump to a new low, pushed back in the middle. And we pretty much stayed there in that pattern all morning, right? You see new high, pushed back in the middle, new low, pushed back in the middle. That's balance. Now, one of the key factors today was that um, mid to late morning, we had two Fed speakers that were on a discussion panel. It pretty much put the market into a coma until that um, panel spoke. We tried to shake down. Uh, obviously, any market that's unable to close the prior day's gap, buyers are in overall control. And then we have had a, what I refer to is not a liquidity issue, but a lack of two-sided trading going on really through the course of the week, right? The market's kind of been picking the direction either straight down or straight up and not relenting off of that. So the question there is twofold. First of all, I said in the morning meeting, if I was going to focus, I'd want to focus more on the long side of the trade than the short side of the trade. So let's go through the zones here real quick and focus. First time to the, to the actual touch of the zone, rejection down, potential 10 points. First time where it actually touches the zone, this came within a tick. I considered it generally tested. Nonetheless, this was the first time actually into the zone. Um, we came down, showed responsive buying, trapped back into the body. See, this is the prior, what I consider body of the market. Trapped below, 
trap back in, unable to push back below. We squeeze shorts up to the upside. Let's get rid of that line real quick. This is second time in the zone, clearly tested here, pushes through. First time into the zone. Look at this really, really closely, guys. We come and tag 20, 70, 50. One, two, three times in a row. Off that 20, 70, 50, we get initial rejection where? Back down to about 205, 70, uh, 205, 75. One tick shy of a two point rotation. Okay. Market, and now we've also spent 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes in the zone. Ian had contacted me. I was out of the offset in the afternoon. Had noted that he took the short in this location. And um, he got a small scale and covered the balance for a one point stop after 20 minutes. That's perfect. It's exactly how you're supposed to trade the zone, right? If you were taking this zone after we'd been here 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 minutes, right? There was no reason to get smoked in this zone. Um, if you were very aggressive, you were able to get the scale here. There was no reason to enter back here after we'd already consolidated in front of this zone and touched it on four separate occasions. Um, and then we move up to the next zone. You'll notice the first touch of 2012-78. Remember, I posted these zones last night. It's not like I went through and made them back up through the course of the day. Rejection from 2012-78, where? All the way back down to 2010-50, easily giving you your two points of rotation, scale, move stop to break even or net break even, depending on your trading style. Market rotates up. And if you would look, or if you could see in the private uh, um, tweets, I said this here, I'll pull up the private Twitter feed here. And that while I was out of the office in the afternoon, attending to some personal business, You'll see that I put up there and I said, uh, I still consider uh, 07, 09, 50 valid. There were several more tw tweets up here. It still got up there. And if you'll look with, this was now um, about three hours ago, right? So at 6 o'clock, uh, this was close to the top of the hour, four, four hours ago. And I said, uh, guys, watching from my laptop, getting rejection at 207.50. So I noted the rejection 207.50. And then I said, then we moved up, rejecting out of 2012-75 zone. That being said, buyers are clearly in control. And then finally, 2020 area for the close is my guess. Shorts caught out, which is exactly right. And this is exactly, again, I noted what I was trying to communicate in the morning, that there's just been no breakdown. Uh, still not easy PA, right? This is not the easiest price action to pay trade. because the And the reason why it's not is because you have to be picture perfect, right? To capture any kind of fade out of these zones but the zones are still providing a location certainly better than getting location out out of the zones where you're just going to get run over right and then finally the ultimate upside target today was 2019 to 2021 and we tagged that right at the close so um again lots of opportunity to um to make money today it was um required a little bit of patience okay it was not entirely easy but we also was not impossible. If you focused on the long side of the trade, I had a couple of guys take the long right here, first time in at 1991. Hopefully everyone avoided getting run over on the way up, right? If you picked your trade location carefully, you were able to get anywhere from six to eight ticks out of the trade, which considering the strength of the move to the upside. And if you focused, importantly, if you focused on the long side of the trade, this is a beautiful 10 point rotation down right into uh, an area I identified early on as wanting to have a long, and it turned out to be pretty much the low of the day. Again, that's featured in the video before. So hopefully that's uh, insightful. These zones are very powerful, guys. They really give you a significant edge while you're trading. Uh, reduce the amount of thinking you have to do in between, and you'll notice we didn't get caught out. No, the zones that you don't see, right, keep you out of trouble, right? We crisscrossed all through this area. If I you know, uh, lesser experience throwing a zone in the middle there or trying to fade in the middle here would simply have gotten you bone crushed. So, uh, anyways, congratulations to everyone who got paid. I had several guys who had uh, several guys who actually caught most of this rip to the upside, which was great. Again, changing that focus to the long side. I had several guys that made money off of each of the zones up here to the short side. Uh, but really, no matter how you trade, the zones give you a significant edge. My name is Simon. I'm a trade and form coaching. If you'd like, to see what we do in the room, in our real-time uh, live trading room and market preview, send me an email to tradingperform at gmail.com, and I'll extend you a five-day trial. Uh, I think you will be impressed uh, if you like to make money, that is. So uh, uh, it's very frustrating not having a trade plan and not having an edge, trying to learn to trade the futures. But once you have an edge, 
and you can instill discipline, um, the world is your oyster. So anyways, have a great night, guys. Members, I'll have the charts out shortly. I'll upload this video. I'll see everyone in the morning. I'm looking forward to having a great day tomorrow. Have a good night, guys.